Born into a poor Jewish family in Vyshkov, Poland, 1919, Mordecai Nielowicz would go on to one of the few upstanders in Nazi Germany, helping save many lives at great risk to himself. After he graduated high school, Mordecai joined Hashemer Hatzer, the initial Zionist youth movement, where his leadership skills began to develop, causing him to excel in the group. In September 7, 1939, Mordecai Nielowicz moved to eastern Poland in hopes to pass the Romanian border and open a path to Israel for Jews fleeing the Nazi regime. Tragically, the Soviet Union had discovered this and detained Mordecai. When he was released, he moved to Vilna, Lithuania. However, when he arrived, he discovered it had been annexed by the Soviet Union. Once again, he moved this time to Warsaw, Poland, where he would start an underground newspaper to inform Jews of Nazi actions. After the creation of this aforementioned newspaper, he was discovered as a Jew and sentenced to hard labor in the Warsaw Ghetto. When Mordecai got to the ghetto, he tried to advise the elders of the community about the impending threat of mass deportations to the Treblinka death camp. However, they did not heed his warning, instead choosing to ignore him. In these horrible conditions, and after 350,000 Jews had been deported to the Treblinka death camp, Mordecai Nielowicz took his second major to find action against the Nazi party. However, there was one critical difference this time. Instead of using writing, he would employ violence as his tool of defiance. He decided to start a rebellion with the last 55,000 able-bodied Jews that hadn't been deported to Treblinka yet. Mordecai Nielowicz created a resistance group called Zob, the Jewish Combat Organization. He was able to get Buddhist, Communist, and a number of Zionist groups to come together under the Zob banner. Zob would go on to create a multitude of improvised weapons, such as handguns and grenades. Even more valuable than this, however, was Mordecai's communications and ability to get assistance from the Polish government that was forced to stay in London. Zob had waited and planned their uprising to maximize their advantages. As the last deportation to the Treblinka death camp was taking place, Zob began the uprising. The surprise was enough of an advantage to allow Zob to inflict many casualties in the Nazi ranks. The battles were brutal, bloody, and lasted many days. However, the Zob could not contest the amount of Nazi troops and deal with their superior arms. After 27 days of fighting, Zob was forced to retreat into improvised bunkers. The uprising was still happening, however, and now it had become clear that the Zob could not win the battle. As the last of the Zob fighters were forced to retreat into their bunkers, the Nazis began to burn and gas these bunkers, resulting in the eventual death of Mordecai and many of his compatriots, as well as the eventual end of the uprising.